I've always wanted to go to Tasmania Zoo, but it was one of those things that I always put off and say, you know, when we've got more money. But apparently it's not as expensive as I think it is. Anyway, today it's a long weekend, and we just had the thought, well, why don't we go today? So we're going to come with us. It'll be cool. So the 2nd of November is called Recreation Day here. Came about because down in the south of Tasmania, they had a public holiday for the Hobart Regatta. Something with boats or something. Anyway, people in the north of the state complained that they got an extra public holiday, and then we didn't, when there is no Launceston Regatta. So the compromise was they said, well, we'll invent this thing, we'll call it Recreation Day, and you can have that as your northern public holiday. And that is the Australian spirit. Any excuse to have a day off work. Our first specimen. It's got a long neck. And they call that a digger. So I'm actually the only one in the family who has never been here before. So I'm pretty excited. And everyone's like, yeah, we've been here before. Let's see that. Oh, is it cute? Oh, is it cute? These are mama's feet. Marmosets. These are marmosets. They are, they have so much personality. They are so cute. They live for up to 12 years old. Marmosets are a type of New World monkey. They're native to South America and are usually around 20 centimeters in length. They're also extremely cute. got a little slide for the meerkat to go down. Check him out. Oh my god. Love how he kind of stands up at attention like that. Okay, he's surveying everything. He's making sure there's no predators coming. Yeah. Meerkats are a type of mongoose. You'll find them in southern Africa. They like open, arid country. They're really social and hang out in packs of up to 30 individuals. They'll take turns serving as sentinel, keeping watch for predators. Rotation takes place throughout the day and is a noisy affair, kind of like the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. We're checking out the Chinese red pandas. Panda? Oh, oh there, there he is! Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, oh. It's right there. There he goes. Oh. The red panda is a mammal native to the Himalayas and southwest China. Despite its name, it's not closely related to the giant panda. They're actually closer to raccoons. They like to keep to themselves and are most active at night. These guys are endangered due to habitat loss, poaching and inbreeding. I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually a red panda up sleeping in a tree. There's a little, little round ball of red fur. We've come to see some caracals, which are a little type of cat that look very much like a domestic cat, but not domestic. But they seem to be hiding at the moment, probably because of the heat. They were a bit shy today, but Linda and the kids were here a previous time and managed to see these critters. Um, their numbers have depleted over the years, so it's just down to the girls and another private zoo that has them. Another kind of cat, Serval. They look like little tiny leopards or something. And each serval has their own unique spots as well. This one hiding under there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can see. <laughs> hey, she didn't even eat it. <laughs> Here we go, we can see three lions. Check it out.
Those are some very sleepy lions. Oh look, lion poo! <laughs> I've never seen lion poo before. <laughs> this exhibit is 10 times larger than the standard lion enclosure, making it the second largest in Australia. The lions have plenty of room. Not that they seem very keen to move at the moment. We'll come back and see more of these guys later. Time for a Sumatran tiger. Where is he? Look at them. They don't like to come up near the fences, do they? <laughs> They've got to have a reason. Yeah, exactly. So usually they do feedings here and they'll come and talk to you about the animals while they give them food. But because of COVID-19 and social distancing and all that, they're not doing that at the moment. Sumatran tigers are critically endangered. Native to Indonesia, they once existed on the islands of Java and Bali, but are now only found in Sumatra. They're paw prints up in the shop on your way out. Um, they're not for sale just yet, I don't think. But I actually... So we're coming up on the white cheeked gibbons. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, whatever, mate. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> Check out his arms. Oh, he's found something worth grabbing outside of his cage. White-cheeked gibbons are native to Southeast Asia. They're mostly herbivorous, but around 10% of their diet consists of insects and other small animals. The males are black and the females are tan or white. They are monogamous and form long-term bonds with their mate. I just love their long arms, so cool. Look at that arm! Yeah, I just can't get, get over how long their arms are. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sit here. There's a Tassie Devil on the roof of his little house. And then there's one down here, soaking up the sun. And flies. Tassie Devils are marsupials, so they have a pouch. They're Australia's largest living carnivorous marsupial. They live up to five years in the wild, and they get their name from their blood-curdling nocturnal screams. Females breed at the ages of two and four. G'day, g'day. <laughs> Early Europeans nearly hunted the devils to extinction because they falsely believed they would kill farm animals. They only eat these animals if they are already dead, but they will steal eggs. When they're first born, they're smaller than a five cent piece. Tasmanian devils are actually in a bit of trouble at the moment. They've got this facial tumour disease, which is uh, quite endangering their, their species. So uh, this is all part of uh, trying to preserve them as a, an animal. Devils have been extinct on the mainland for around 600 years and are only found in Tasmania. I don't know what these are, but they're cool. Jeez. Where else can you eat fish and chips while well, you're looking at meerkats? Some uh, pretend thylacines. Hi, Cookie. Oh my, oh my goodness! Hi, baby. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello Cookie. <laughs> Say, watch the calling show. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's what he's saying. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Cookie, oh. he's so excited. These are marigolds, and they like to play hide and seek, apparently. They're blue and yellow macaws. No, it's a marigold. My name. Oh no, my is name is okay. Sorry. Hello. We found more marmosets. Hello. 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 I think the marmosets might be some of our favourite animals here. Oh, they're so cool. Funny. And they're showing off because the humans. Look at their little squeaky noise they make. Uh huh. <laughs> they sound like birds. Hello there, honey. Hello. You're as big as my hand. It's very tame. Hello, sweetness. What are you doing? Oh, look at. 
Are you like used to being camera? Oh, yeah, look at you. Oh, look at, it. Look at you posing for the camera. <laughs> So sweet. I think it wants to come out hello. and say hello. Are you guest starring on the Colling Show? Yay! Oh, there's one in the Oh, oh my god! <laughs> you guys are so cute! Here's your hello! Oh, hello! So I'm going to touch what it, but I know I <laughs> This is a golden tamarind. Here's the, the orange thing we saw from the other side. Rip your arm off. But they're cute though. You know. Probably can't see it. There's a wombat in there dug, digging a little burrow to get out of the heat. Oh my goodness! Ah! 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 <laughs> Hello! Couple more wombats up here. Oh, here's one sunning itself in the, or sleeping in the shade. Yeah, some wombat burrows. Couple under the tree there. And here's this dude. Sea hens. Are they turbo chooks? No, no, no. Turbo chooks are native hens. They are different. What is that? Oh no, that looks African to me. The bird with the long legs. Yeah. Interesting looking. Check it out. Now we're thinking this is not actually an emu. It's an ostrich. We just got to find a way through all this mud. Here's more of the Devil's Haven Conservation Breeding Program. This is a southern cassowary and it's endangered. Ostriches and emus are like the same. Are there are differences. I'm not sure what the differences are, but there's differences. G'day! Hello! <laughs> Say Hi, something! Buddy. With your big fur. He's really big. Yeah, look at those feet! Look at those little feet! Hi. Look at his beak! Oh, Shut Adam! <laughs> uh -huh. Look at that neck! Are you not allowed to touch the fence? Yeah, that's actually an electric fence. Look at that mess. He's really showing off. A lot of aquariums had fish. This one seems to have lizards. <laughs> right? That red thing there, that is an American alligator. And he's not moving much, but he's sitting under a, under a red light. Blue tongue lizards? Uh, the largest members of the skink family. That's a baby crocodile. Oh my gosh. It's cute. It's How a awesome is that? Hey guys, do you need me? Any of these? Oh, there's one up in the middle of the bush. Oh, oh yeah? It's all dead by. This is an Australian lungfish. And there's a snake there. There's a tiger snake. You don't want to meet up with one of them when it's not in a cage. It's a ring-tailed lemur. We're going to go check out the dinosaurs now. Oh, I think I spotted something up there. Oh, check this guy out. Don't get too close to him, Harry. Stay on the path. Oh my crap, look at this guy. He's nasty. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. <laughs> Notice how all the reptiles we're seeing here are so still. Yeah, that one's even more still, thank goodness. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Swamp. Another one here. He's a big fella. Oh, birds down there. Okay, Iguanodon. Keep your eye. Oh, look how big he is. Oh, look, look, look. That's a baby one. You see him? Check them out. Aren't they the guys that spit venom? Oh god, I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah. Look kind of similar. Though I don't think that's the right name. Yeah. Allosaurus. Yep, that's not the right Oh, there's a stegosaurus up there. 
Everyone loves a Stegosaurus. Look at that. Uh, get over on his head. Not the issue touch. To make him sick. Oh, and it's got babies. It's got babies. <laughs> Velociraptors are just ahead. He's a lot smaller than I always pictured him. Man, you have him as a pet, isn't he cool? He'd fit in the backyard. Of course, that's like great, I guess. <laughs> but you've got a baby here, this must be a teenager. Giant frog! Check it out! That's massive! Oh, wow! <laughs> Brachiosaurus. So my thing I'm doing is I keep taking selfies with me with the dinosaurs in the background. But the brachiosaurs are really tall. <laughs> Lovely spin. Looks like a wizard with butterfly wings. <laughs> Does a bit. You see him? A pterodon. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Well, that is one big pile Oh, look, of... it's a big triceratops. <sighs> Just nice to be wandering around the Tasmanian bush and <gasps> then you find a Triceratops Rex. <laughs> There's been some dinosaurs around here. Ah, what's that? <laughs> it looks like a sloth. It does, doesn't it? Is that a T Rex? No, we just saw the T Rex. Then what the hell is that laughing that bone. One final exhibit up here. We've got something in a in a little building. I've just been noticing how many of these dinosaurs have just been so still. This guy isn't though. G'day!
We found dingoes. <laughs> well, that was interesting timing. So the dingo is Australia's native dog. G'day, bingo. Hi, buddy. Isn't he cool? Their habitat covers most of Australia, but they're not actually found in the wild down here in Tassie. They prey on mammals up to the size of the large red kangaroo. Oriental small clawed otter, or as Linda called it, an overgrown guinea pig. Whoa! They're like giant guinea pigs! What is that? Semi-aquatic. Oh, it yeah, it's weird. the largest living rodent. Wow. That's cool. That so, so next logical question is what defines a rodent? Let's see that. Tastes good, mate? Okay. So a rodent is a mammal with a single continuously growing incisor up the top of its mouth. So it's all about the teeth. Got some monkeys. These monkeys have just been fed, so we get to see them eating. Oh, this guy's enjoying some corn. G'day! So they were macaques, just like we've got at City Park. I think this is a baboon over here. It's actually a mandrill. Yep, he's got corn as well. So these dudes are the largest monkeys in the world. I mean, it's worth coming here just for the actual landscape. Now, this is cool. You're actually allowed to go in and walk around for the wallabies. Hello, emus. Wallaby walk through. Shut the gate behind you. <laughs> the Bennett's wallaby lives in the temperate and fertile parts of eastern Australia, including, of course, Tasmania. So these are Bennett's wallabies. Much larger than that, and you'd have to call it a kangaroo. Amy, you having a drink? Oh, look at him go! <laughs> there, mate. I think Amy is a bit jealous of the wallaby's attention. <laughs> ducks. Yeah, there's ducks and alpacas. How's it going, Skippy? Hey, Skip! Skippy, Skippy! They can grow up to 90 centimetres, 35 inches in length. Have another drink. The idea is that this is their spot where they know we can't get at them. Yeah. Then they can come out and walk around. Yeah. Build security, or they can come and hang out if they want. Oh, hello. We've just spotted off in the distance there. There's two albino oh, wallabies. Is that three or is that a chicken? I'm pretty sure that's chicken. Yeah, I think there's three. They often have them in zoos to protect them. This guy's getting a bit closer. Hello, hey, Fred. Buddy. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yes, yeah, okay. You're very clever. You can make your ears move without touching them. Yeah, <laughs> the <albino laughs> He's showing off. Everything, isn't they? Are the albino ones dangerous? No. So what I've learned today is that emus are smaller than ostriches. These are emus. Oh, hello. These are Aussie. That's an interesting noise you make. They're making them. Their feathers are almost like little knotty kind of bits of string. Very interesting. So there's some alpacas down the back there. The alpacas and the emus don't seem to mix. Koalas! He's so wrapped up in a little ball you can barely <laughs> see what he looks like. There's another one there. He's also sleeping.
The lions are still sleeping, but now they're up over on the other side of their enclosure. I think they're a little bit closer too. Oh, here we go, look at this guy. Wow. Now, I'd be really disappointed if they haven't named one of them as Lan. <laughs> well, they probably don't name them, but still. <laughs> oh, look at that! Wow! It's such a cat. Oh! Oh my goodness! Here he goes. He's up on his face. He's moving around. The other one's getting up. Is he licking the other one? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh my oh. gosh, really? Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's like fighting. <laughs> oh my oh gosh! My. Whoa! <laughs> it worked the other two well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> the alphas are dominating the dominant. They are taking up a lot. Uh, <laughs> bad enough. <laughs> Yeah, it's a baby wombat. That's why it moves so quick because it's energetic. It's like a human baby. <laughs> oh no! And some grass. It looks like a teddy bear. Oh, my oh God. look at him go! <laughs> this is the farm animal section. We've got some sheep and an alpaca. There's a cow over there. Even at the zoo still? Yes. Yep. Oh, it's a donkey! Yep. Mm -hmm. like a donkey. Harry and his mate. Oh, no. That's true, for sure. Ah! Oh. <laughs> the baby goat. Hello, you can pat it for me. Wow. Yes. Look at this. I don't see any. I haven't seen any signs that say you can, but I have seen lots of people patting them. So. He's giving you that look. Pat him. What are you patting? Look at that. I just oh. don't want him to go and. Head it's so weird patting the head of an animal with horns. Look this one, big back. <laughs> Cheetahs! This is the best view we've had of big cats all day. Check them out! They're actually walking and doing I know! Like Alright, we'll come back to them because we're looking at the farm animals at the moment. But hey, cheetahs! <laughs> Sheep and an alpaca. How's it going? You're a long way from home. These things come from Peru and Chile, I believe. South American animal. Oh, sorry, mate. Didn't mean to startle ya. Meh. <laughs> How you going, Big Mac? And we'll call that one over there stroganoff. T-bone. <laughs> Harry's got a pet cow. No, you can't keep him. Yes, I can. <laughs> he won't fit in the car. <laughs> we can, we can get to him now. All right, now we're coming to see the cheetahs. All right, right in the middle of their little paddock, there's a giant cat scratching post.
Are these cats? Yeah, these are cheetahs. Yeah. Cheetahs. They're one of the fastest cats in the world. They are the fastest land animal on earth, aren't they? Yep. And they meow. <laughs> this one doesn't look like it. <laughs> so these guys can go from zero to 72 kilometers an hour in two and a half seconds. Meow. Up next, the African dogs. Here we go. African wild dog, Lycoan pictus. Just about as energetic as everything else around here. <laughs> it's been cold lately, but today's the first kind of hot day we've had in a long time, so I think all the animals are just like, uh. <laughs> The African wild dog, or painted dog, is the largest indigenous canine in Africa. They're actually a very democratic animal. They use sneezing as a way of voting on whether they should go on a hunt at a particular moment. I think we've just about seen everything. It's kind of hard to believe that all of this is just 10 minutes from our house. That's Tasmania for you. You can actually pay to meet some of the baby animals up close. We actually saw a group getting introduced to the baby wombat. Topping off a very good day with a nice Tasmanian heart's mineral water. Tazzy Devil with a Joey in his pouch. Got a warthog guarding the exit. And I got myself a postcard. Well, that was a really good day out. Really enjoyed that. So it was $85 for the family. And it was worth every cent. It was just great to see the animals and uh, just supporting this place that's so close to home. You know, when COVID first hit, um, they were a bit concerned out here that they may not be able to afford to feed their animals because no one was able to come and see. So it's really good to support these things when you're able. And uh, yeah, that's what we're all about on The Colling Show. We like to share the sights of Tasmania and beyond, but especially Tasmania right now. So if you want to see more of this amazing part of the earth, then subscribe and check out some of our other adventures.